All right, listen up, people. I wasn't planning on doing the defensive video already this week, but I feel like before weekend league, it's probably a good thing to show some defensive tips because the last video I did, it's kind of outdated and it's not what I'm running anymore. So I probably want to give you a heads up on that. This is going to be about Big Nick Lober G. It's the best combination defense there is in Madden 21, just because how, just because of how powerful audibling down is. You can put a running back in a wide receiver, and then you can go from gun bunch to I form formation formations, and that that's just really tough to defend. So I want to give you like the defense to kind of stop both a little bit. Obviously, you're gonna give up yards against some really good players. That's just what's gonna happen. But this will kind of make it easier for you to limit that to two less yards. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 700, uh, 700 subscribers. And yeah, let's just get into it. Cover two man is gonna be the defense. Let's talk about uh, where we want to have our players first. I want always want to have safeties and linebackers because that because that's just better. If you go um, right here on normal package, then you're gonna have some very very weird adjustments and on defense, and you don't want that. You want slot cornerback as your package. That will then put a slot cornerback. Whether in big nickel, generally there's a strong safety at the slot cornerback position where it would be in big nick where it would be in normal nickel at. So. You want to go to slot cornerback to have five cornerbacks on the field and now you have kind of the defense you want put in safeties right here and then put in outside linebackers or not outside linebackers or middle linebackers right there at the two defensive end spots if you're play playing a pass if you're playing a runner you want to have general you generally want to have some uh, some run stuffers out there so let's call cover two men and let's first talk about um let's first talk about for example strong wing Yes. Run defense, it depends on what my opponent is coming out in. If he's coming out in a very uh, heavy loaded uh, set like this, who's, which is very heavy to the right, then I want to show blitz, make sure that both of my safeties are at the line of scrimmage, just like that. I want to slant the, uh, slant the D line to the side where the runner is going to be at, and I want to blitz my safety. Now, if I run stretch, then I want to see if there's a gap that i can shoot through and if there is then i'm, I'm gonna do that and i'm gonna get some yards if there isn't however this is where things get interesting i'll move this guy right there if, if there isn't i always want to stay on top of the running back so i'm gonna mirror the running back uh, you'll see what this looks like i'll snap the ball and now you will see how i'll mirror the running back and now i can shoot down and try to get that Tackle. You get a lot of sheds if you have good D linemen. That's just how it works this year. You just have to make sure to slant to the to the side where a potential stretch is going, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to uh, get the sheds in the right direction. And that's also important. Get your defensive line to shed to the side where the stretch is going to. So one more time, I'm just showing you how to defend stretch because that's generally what people are gonna run against Dive. It's a little bit difficult because if you slant. Oops. If you slant your line to the right, and now they do I have dives on the elbows? I don't. But power O will be good enough. If he now runs a little bit more up the middle, then it's kind of difficult. Then, as soon as you see an audible, or if, as soon as you see that uh, your opponent gets a handoff animation where it's up the middle and not to the sideline. So, one more time, not to the outside. Oops. So, just like that. As soon as you see that right there, you want to shoot down and just try to m muddy that whole thing up because otherwise there are a lot of yards that just make it difficult. Get some bodies in there. Oh, try to make it as confusing as possible to get out there. That's my tip for inside runs. In such very uh, one-sided formations. Now, more balanced set, for example, would be something like iPhone close. iPhone close is difficult because you can flip the yeah, there's a stretch in there and you can flip the stretch. Uh, to pretty much whatever side and it still is a good stretch so for this it's really difficult i don't want to i guess i'll give you my iphone close defense i want to make sure that my zone drops on my curl flats are 25 i want to put both my safeties in curl flats i want to uh, pinch slant outside i want to go with the user my user is going to be uh between the linebacker that is between the cornerback and the other middle linebacker i guess on the corn on the slot cornerback side then I'm gonna move him in here and then I'm gonna try to shoot that gap right there. It is important when you shoot that gap, he still breaks a lot of tackles because I don't know, they kind of feel like they may have to make the Seattle defense 
bad in Madden. I don't know why because they didn't. They actually had a good game last week, and I don't even think that they are that bad. All they're just they're just getting put in positions where they don't want to give up touchdowns, so they play really soft. But and they give up a lot of yards that way. But when they need to get a stop, they get a stop. Sorry, kind of a little bit of a rant like the Seahawks, but this is my setup once again. Boom. And you have to wait about half a second. Uh, so snap, half a second wait, and now you can potentially uh, do this. This is a little bit risky because right there you see I didn't get in. And even though uh, that should have been a lot of yards, we got lucky with the shed. Uh, but if you see that we that you're not going to get in, this is a big issue. So if you don't feel confident that you can shoot the gap on a stretch, uh, then you have to kind of try to... like. <laughs> Then you have to kind of, uh, what am I trying to say? Then you have to kind of, just like previously, stay over top of the running back. So right there. Oops. Okay, okay, okay. You can see that. Backside pursuit will get him, hopefully. But the thing with this is, uh, your this running back in practice mode, if I don't use him, he's always going to find the perfect spot to cut up. So a lot of people online don't have the stick to, or don't know how to run the ball effectively they just oh my god this is actually this is actually looking terrible guys trust me i played a lot of runners this weekend this previous weekend and it worked for me pretty well pretty well so this does not show how good this run defense is nevertheless i personally am a bigger fan of of shooting the gap, the gap just because i feel like it's a bigger it's a bigger play for my opponent's drive like if i get if i get one of these plays i feel like my opponent's drive is over because generally I can cover the pass out of these under center formations. I just feel I feel really good against these under center formations because I played them so much last year. And if I can get one of those stops, these stops right here, even though he breaks the tackle. If I can get one of those stops to drive, my opponent is gonna have a pretty tough time scoring on me. So that's all about the run defense. Let's now talk about pass defense. And pass defense, it's really all about man coverage. Have as good a man coverage cornerbacks as you possibly can have. And come on in big make right now, once again. And the reason you want to come out in big nickel against passing formations, if they don't have uh, two running backs on the field, then you always obviously want to come out in something a little bit pass heavier of a defense. Maybe a dollar, maybe a, a big dime for six, something like that. But if they come out with two running backs on the field, then you want to come out in this. So my thing is to always press shade over top, shade inside. And then I want to put two curl fats out there once again. Zone drop 20 or 25. 20 is a little bit is better because it can kind of bait your opponent into throwing cross, crossing routes that you shouldn't. And if you have good players, then you'll make up for uh, being a little bit underneath the crossing route by speed and play recognition. But if you don't have that good players, 25 is just fine. And then you want to just see what your opponent is hitting you with. Uh, one thing that you can do if you want to, if you play passer, you want to have two outside linebackers right there where circle and uh, square at, at the defensive line and do kind of do something like this this will now be really difficult to go against mabel double mabel both sides and now you can you can do whatever you want pretty much with your user you have to be aware of man beating routes so right there that drag can beat man that angle can beat man so that's what you have to guard guard the things that beat man coverage um that is like my first defensive tip either yeah i'll just do this one after a while, some people will work their way open. But, still, this is very, very nice defense. Well, oops, that's actually the offense. Uh, so, once again, press. Slim, uh, shade over top, shade inside. Two curl flats. That's my base setup. And uh, out of this, you, you can adjust. You can put, like I said, the two hard flats out there. That is one way to adjust out of cover two men. This video is only going to cover cover two men. I'll do more parts on this because Big Nickel is going to be the defense this year. But this is just what's important to know. Generally, you want to you want to use the man being routes. But one thing that you have to be careful of if you're using using the guy that's on a running back, uh, you always have to look if the if the running back is going out on routes. So right there, I can I kind of what I generally do. Okay, this is a little bit sorry the controller is loud. Um, this is more of an advanced tip if you want to get if you want to get really uh, advanced. Then you can what you can do is you can pretend to go to the running back a little bit and then as soon as you can or as soon as you think that your opponent is not going to look at the running back anymore because he's like okay he's covering it with his user 
then you can bait back to the middle. And a lot of the times you have, if you're double mabling, uh, if you're double mabling, like this, then if I cover the running back right here, then he's gonna run into a zone. So that is a very nice thing that this double mabling allows you. And even though it doesn't look like uh, like you're gonna get pressure online right now because people, my people are just getting knocked down all. <sighs> We'll see how long it takes them to get to the quarterback. <laughs> Will they ever? Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> this took forever. But in Ultimate Team, if you have two good pass rushes right there, they will actually get some pretty nice pressure, even though it, that that just completely contra contradicted my what I was saying. But this is my this is my setup, or this is my setup. If you want to get some more pressure, obviously these four people actually they get kind of good pressure. Even the two get good pressure. These four obviously get a little better pressure. There are a lot of one-on-ones in this. A lot of the times your, people, your opponent is going to send out your halfback. So there's nobody to block that's going to block anybody after a shed happens. So these four, they actually do a pretty nice job shedding. This is all I have to say. This cover two, man, it's really, really nice. Especially because of the four down linemen and the flexibility allows you. Because you can defend the pass and defend the run. Come both come out uh, against both things in this it is very nice be prepared guys people are gonna run the ball if you really want to get the the gap shooting down then obviously you should practice it go into practice mode and just try to get the timing down but like i said about half a second waiting should be good this is all i have to say i appreciate you taking the time i feel like i feel like i'm repeating myself over and over again um recommending to your friend if your opponent if your friend your friend should not be your opponent unless it's friendly match forget what i said if you want to recommend it to your friend, please do so. If he needs to get better with Madden and you're always whooping his ass. If you want to keep uh, whooping his ass, then obviously don't recommend me. But if your, if your friend wants to get better, then just send me one of his, send him one of my videos. Thank you. That was a very tough outro. See you in the next video. Peace out.